Welcome to a C++ tutorial. I'm going to talk to you about passing variables by reference rather than by value in this tutorial. We just learned a little bit about pointers and references in the last video. And so let's move on and learn a little bit more. Okay, so I have this press enter to continue function. It's in a previous video. It's just a pause function so my console window does not close when the program runs. In the main, in the main program here, I'm going to walk you through this before we get into passing things by reference. I declare an integer value called num and I initialize it to the number 7. And then I print out to the screen the value of number is num, which you should see 7. Then I'm going to set num equal to this function that I created called square by value and I'm bringing in one parameter of type integer and I'm bringing in my num as that parameter. And then I'm going to print out the new value of the number is, and it's, and it's going to print that out. Now let's go dive into the square by value function. Again, it is declared, the header function is declared at the top. It's returning an integer value, and one of its parameters is an integer. So where the definition of square by value is, you actually have to name that integer, and I named it name. No big deal. So I'm going to return name times name, in other words, square by value. I'm returning an integer value called uh, that's going to basically multiply it by itself one time. And what we're going to have here is this number is actually a copy of the actual number in this function. So let me run this, hit F12, so I lost my thought there for a second, and hit F5, and we have the values, and the values shown, uh, the number is 7, and then it's squared, it becomes 49. And it actually does become 49 because we use the equal operator right here. We actually set it equal to whatever that value is. But what's going on is, this square by value, when num comes into this function with this parameter name, it creates a copy. So now you have another variable called name that happens to be equal to 7 as well. That name value is multiplied twice or by itself and it becomes 49 that's being returned. The 49 is returned and it's going to be an integer value. So this whole square by value becomes 49 and you set num equal 49. So of course when you print out the number again you're going to get 49. Now, think of this. Let's say you had a complex three-dimensional matrix full of data, colors. I mean, you know, let's talk like 100,000 by 100,000 pixels or something like that. Or a 3D, so it'd be 100,000 by 100,000 by 100,000. Think about some sort of object that size, how much memory that would take if you're making copies and copies and copies of that to do these little manipulations. That's why we want to look to using passing by reference instead of by value. So whenever you hear the term or see the term pass by value, that means you're making a copy, an exact copy replica of that variable. Now in this case with an integer it's not a big deal. It's, it's taken up just a few bytes of memory. But imagine that three-dimensional object or whatever object you eventually create using the tools that you have with C++ programming. So you create this massive object, you no longer want to start making copies of it because think about the amount of memory that's going to take up. Let's redo this problem and pass by reference instead. To do that, uh, we'll just modify what we have here. When I pass by reference, I don't really need to return anything. So instead of the integer return value, I'm going to make that into a void. And instead of taking in a integer value, I'm going to I want to take in a integer pointer as my parameter. So let's just rename everything, put the pointer symbol everywhere. Um, so now we have integer number equals 7. The value of number is num. Instead of doing num equals, let's, because nothing is returned by square by value anymore, you have to get rid of that. It's a void. So square by value, and now num is an integer. It's not an, it's not an integer pointer. It's not a, a memory address. So to get the memory address, remember we use the ampersand. So now in square by value, the parameter that's taken in is now a memory location. 
So how do you store memory locations? You use pointers. So we're taking in a, basically you can look at this as a memory location. We're taking in a pointer value. And what is it? What is that pointer value? It's the location of wherever num is stored in memory. Okay. So now let's 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 make some more modifications here. Square by value, I'm bringing in a memory location. I'm storing that location as name. But now instead of returning anything, again we have void here, so we have to match our function header. And we're not really going to have to return anything because it's void. So all we're going to do is we're going to dereference name and set it equal to the dereference name times dereference name. Let me break this down because it looks very complicated and you can use some parentheses to cl clean things up a little bit because it does get confusing with that star and the multiplication symbol in between them. Um, okay, so remember, if I don't put that star in front of the name, name is just going to be some memory address. Remember, the star is going to dereference, so it's going to find out, okay, where is that memory location at that name is pointing to? Go to that location and tell me what value is in there. So this is going to say the value that's in name, set that equal to whatever value is in name now multiplied by whatever value is in name now. So it's going to do the exact same thing that we just did. Let's run this by hitting F12 and it'll rebuild it. Make sure we have no errors and F5 to run. The exact same output. What's the difference now? The difference is, I'm going to close this out, the difference is this number is the only num that you manipulated. You didn't create a copy of it when you called square by value. You gave square by value permission by giving it the memory address of where, wherever this num is stored, you brought that in and you gave square by value permission to manipulate that memory location. And it did. It brought it in. This is just a memory location. I'm going to dereference that memory location so that I can manipulate the value that's in the memory location. And so again, don't be confused by the pointer dereferencing and the multiplication symbol here. I know that seems like a lot, but you must play with this and learn it because uh, pointers are going to be your worst enemy and we're going to use them from here on out. And I'll probably do a lot more tutorials on them throughout.